What's up, YouTube? Insane Tacos here, bringing you another Let's Play in the form of Game Dev Tycoon. I saw a bunch of YouTubers already play this. I think they have, at least I don't know. And I figured I'm gonna throw my hat into that ring and play it. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time. But I still. I still have an iPhone. And. a 3DX. 3DS XL. And look, it's even Pokemon Omega Ruby. Why? I, I'm not back in time, though. What is this like? Is this 30 years into the into the future of 2016 or something? <coughs> You've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. So... Like... The year 2000, I think? When I was a kid, I um, I had a uh, I had a PC. So, you yeah, I think yeah, I think about 1998, 2000, maybe. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. So, I'll be 59 years old. By the by the time I get famous. And I'll be even more famous in a virtual world than I am in real life. Great. Just like YouTube Tycoon. I have like I think I have almost ten thousand followers in that game. And that's not something I'm going to put up on YouTube. So, <clears throat> and um, sorry for all the coughing. So now I have to pick a, not have to pick an avatar and my company name. My company name will be Tacos of Insanity. My player name will be my YouTube handle, Insane Tacos. So, well, oh yeah, and I'm also wearing a Deadpool shirt too. Now, what shirt matches it? Oh, doesn't have any black shirts. That sucks. Well, that's as close to black as I'm gonna get. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, and you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the main menu. Okay! Congratulations, you've started your very own develop game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. Hooray! It's just like in real life! Except, I'm in my room, and not in a garage. Yeah, close enough. <clears throat> okay, let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere to to bring up the action menu. Yay! My first achievement. Wait, is that in game or or in Steam? Cause I got this on Steam. <clears throat> I saw Jack except the guy play it just now. I do not know him. It would be awesome to know him, to meet him. Anyway, I saw Jack Septic Guy play this just now on YouTube, and it looked like so much fun. 
so I want to play it myself. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Okay! Let's see here. Superheroes... Ugh. Strategy? I do like strategy games. Superhero games are usually more geared towards RPGs, though. Oh, yeah. G64, the PC. Ugh. I don't know, though. Maybe... Ooh, I got it. School simulation. Yeah, that works. Now, what should my first game name be? School Tycoon. <laughs> it's gonna be a parody of the Tycoon. Um. Mm. The whole Tycoon genre of games, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, should it be a text-based... Or should I have graphics? If it's text-based, it's based. It's just gonna be one of those text adventures. Hmm. Ugh. If I have 2D graphics, it'll look like that horrible Beavis and Butthead game. That's what I'm imagining it to be, at least. Uh, I think I'll try out... I think I'll try it out text-based first. <clears throat> just to... Just to get it going. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to install updates. Remind me tomorrow. <clears throat> game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of the, each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, so, since this is a text adventure, I don't really need much in the, much in an engine, or too much gameplay for that matter. Yeah, <clears throat> sounds like story, story and quests will should be the better uh, allocation, I guess. There. Alright, this is my first game. Game development has now started. Did you really need to give me a tutorial for that? While developing your game, you will generate game points which you can see bubbling up. <laughs> That's what I imagine when I see the, when I see the phrase bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and tech points. The more points you generate, the better your game will be. Yay! From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Yay! Again! Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Development stage two. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> A text game needs to be dialogue heavy. Level design, not very much. Artificial intelligence. In a text adventure. Hmm.
I think I'll stick it at about there. How many bugs can go into a text adventure? During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Oh. So, it doesn't really need to be very much graph, very many graphics, or or a lot in the in the uh, world design thing. Sound. Not very important, but slightly important for like music and stuff, I guess. Um, eh, who cares? I'll ramp it up. <clears throat> how much, how many bugs can be in a simulation like this? Development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of your bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting rid of all my bugs pretty quickly. I'll leave it at that. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you, ga you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you'll be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. I'm ready. Ooh! Yay! Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. You should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Oh, please be good. First reviews for our newly released game, School Tycoon, came in. Oh, no! No! adventure what could I do <sighs> after publishing a game you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report <laughs> what game report two words it's shit what Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. It's a damn text adventure! I couldn't do much of it. I couldn't do much to... Whatever. It's, it's a... Ugh. Oh, that's ridiculous. To generate a game report, close this message. And click anywhere. Generate game report. Yeah. In other words, it's shit. <sighs> Tacos of Insanity, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, School Tycoon. <clears throat> the game got generally low scores from reviewers, but with a bit of experience, we're sure. We are sure that we'll see better games from Tacos of Insanity in the future. It's a text adventure. It wasn't supposed to be freaking RuneScape. It was a damn text adventure based on school. Wait. Yeah. 
go. Yeah. That might have, um... In hindsight, that might have been a terrible idea. Yeah. Now that your game is, <clears throat> is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Real, Really? Our post-release analysis of School Tycoon <coughs> is complete and we got the following results. School and, si school and simulation is a great combination? Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. I had, I had sound ramped up, didn't I? I did, didn't I? School and simulation is a great combination. Really now? Two, one, two, and two. Those were shit reviews. Literal shit. Dog do. I don't think I could have I don't think it could have gotten any worse than that. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's about as, um... Maybe I should have made it a 2D game. It would have been like an actual tycoon game. Instead of a... Yeah. <clears throat> Making it text-based and calling it School Tycoon was a... Um, was a... Horrible idea. That's... Um, not something I'm gonna be able to live up to. Or live down, I should say. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint! Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Vampire military, uh, military. Huh. Either a military or detective simulator. I do like detectives. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Rece uh, recent market studies suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. What? Oh yeah, this is like back in the like what eight, late eighties when the Commodore first came out, steadily outselling mm, uh, competitors in the PC sector. Consumers preferred the lower price, uh, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration. Ah, damn it! <clears throat> Over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay, now that I've researched my uh, detective game topic, time to see how that'll do. Should I should I make it a simulator or a strategy game? No, strategy wouldn't work. RPG. That wouldn't really do well. I think I'll try and make it a simulation again. I can't do it on the Commodore, or Govador, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, I'll have to do it on the PC again. Let's see. Wait, did I just? No. All right. Let's see. Detective Stanley. Yeah. This time I'll have to make it a 2D graphic. Can't wait. Did it, do I? Yeah, I'll make it a 2D graph. Oh man! Oh, I only have a thousand dollars left. Shit! All right. So for this one. I'm gonna have to <clears throat> make it just about as equal as I can. Hmm. For a 2D game, the engine is pretty important, and so is the gameplay. Can't be too dialogue heavy this time. Level design is a little important. Artificial intelligence would should be pretty up there. Yeah, I think that I think that should do it. I'm in the red. My bank has enabled me to overdraw my account up to 50k. Oh man. Oh. Oh great. Sound isn't really all that important. <clears throat> Graphics and world design. World design is... World design... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll... I'll leave it at that. Oh man. This is terrible. According to the rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is plan planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> oh, I love it. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait about 10 years, buddy. Great. <clears throat> Get rid of all the bugs. Awesome. Shit! That's terrible! Oh, man. <laughs> Please be good. Please don't base it off. Please don't base it off School Tycoon. Ugh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. 
This is terrible. School Tycoon really broke me. Oh man. That was my game report. High insane to Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Will do. So you have a, uh... You guys have a little startup of your own. Uh, detective simulation is an okay combination. I'm terrible at this stuff. No. Uh, I don't. I don't think I can keep this. <sighs> Uh, I'll try again with the usual dungeon RPG on the PC. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll call it. Out of terror for I don't know. Uh, oh. Great. Yeah. Sure. That's uh awesome. Let's see, engine and gameplay story and quests. That'll be important. Engine, not so important. Oh my god. I'm in a startup of my own and already I have made two really shitty games. Gotta ramp up artificial intelligence all the way. Uh, level design... Dialogues also need to be pretty up there. If this game doesn't bring me out of the red, then, um... I'm gonna start Takas of Insanity all over. Because, um... I can already tell right now that I am not going to do... great. <laughs> Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, great. Come on. Awesome. Oh, hey! Oh, please do it. The first reviews for our newly released game, Dow of Terror, came in. Yes, it looks good. Ugh. Come on, higher than a four? No! Come on, be good, be good, be good! Well, it's, uh, not that bad.
Just finished Dow of Terror and I am impressed by your talent. Yes! I survived for contact work. Contract work. Ugh. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours if you're ever short on cash and just let me know and I'll see if I have some work for you. Thank you, Jason! You are a bro! Alright. I'll do some contract work. Okay, that <clears throat> that um seems like a good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh come! Yes. Okay. Thank you for taking care of this for us. We'll transfer twelve thousand into your account. Awesome. Jason here. Just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Will do. Maybe I'll try another one. The only penalty for this one is 2,000 over 13,000. I have 66,000. Yeah, 66,000, so. I'll do it. If I don't get it done in time, the worst worst case scenario is I lose 2,000. Which I did it! Oh! Awesome! should do this I lose 8k if I do if I don't do it yeah okay I'm doing it oh no bad idea oh. So, let's see. What have I learned? I learned that a school simula simulator is shit, a detective simulator is also shit, and I am terrible at character design. So, I think I'm just going to never try this again. Um, so, <clears> haha, <throat> -ha! suck it, industry news, I told you, I told you home consoles would be, uh, <laughs> would be a success. I love the games that come with the tests, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Yeah. Alright, well... 
I can't really, um... I'm gonna try and come out of it. Pretty soon it's... Pretty soon I'm gonna lose about a hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. Um... Yeah. Okay! Thank you. Uh Oh man, I can't. I'm screwed. Well... School Tycoon and, um... T Detective Stanley really, really put me in the shitter. This is a reminder that we require you to pay back the agreed amount of $144,000 in three months' time. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I am going to restart Tacos of Insanity. And... Yeah. That's it. I'm um, not ever going to go into this file ever again. <laughs> well, stay tuned for the next video. Bye!